my name is Sarah, welcome back to my channel, welcome to my channel, if you're new here! Today is a non-Bath and Body Works video. I am so excited. I only film Bath and Body Works content and I know most of my subscribers are Bath and Body Works lovers, but I feel like you guys will still like this video because it is lighthearted and fun. I'm doing a sticker collection for you guys. So I love to collect stickers. I used to not because I'm like, I can never like commit to putting that somewhere. But like recently I have like actually put them places that I will enjoy looking at. Um, my Bath and Body Works holder that I use recently broke, which makes me depressed, but I do have stickers on it and I'm still saving this because of the stickers on here. So I'm not going to be showing you guys exactly what stickers on You can see like there's a whatever cat, y'all. Um, the Webkin's duck that's sick. I don't know, some cute stick, but these are stickers that are not placed anywhere and I have two different categories. So I have the first category, which is cute, fun stickers that have no meaning that I just love I mean, they may have meaning, but yeah. Then I have another sticker that is where I've traveled to because I love to get stickers when I travel to different places. So yeah, I'm excited to show you guys. We're gonna start off with the cute ones because I feel like those are more fun. I mean, I still love my travel ones, but like the cute ones are where it's at. Okay, so let's get into it. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. Okay, not so fun. I'm never, I'm never gonna use these. <laughs> Apple stickers. And then I've ordered from Redbubble for two random red bubbles. If you guys have ordered from there, um or you have these like where do you guys put them i don't know what to do with these they just they just hang out in my sticker little folder okay i'm excited to show you guys oh my god i guess this one can go and travel but um this is a loon from minnesota i got this because the uh i'm gonna do like a close-up two of these but this is the loon i got um when i went to minnesota so yeah super cute i like that one okay this is probably one of my favorite stickers it is this little cow and it's a heart over the cow and i think this is so cute i think i'm gonna put this on one of my tumbler cups that i have um but i just don't want to commit because i love this sticker so much but i just need to like do it because i'm not gonna use it anywhere else it's just gonna sit here i got this little gnome when i traveled somewhere i don't know what i want to do with it it is so cute it's a little gnome and gnomes are like the new thing so yeah i got a little gnome Okay, this one is, a lot of these are kind of like TV show related. This is Parks and Rec. You guys can kind of see all the characters and stuff. You got a little Sebastian and just all of them. And it's so cool. So yeah, I love Parks and Rec. And I thought this sticker was super cute. Don't know what I'm going to do with it. That's why it's still here. I haven't sticked it anywhere. I do have this makeup mirror thing that I'm going to put a couple on because I only have one sticker so far and I kind of want to put all of them or a lot more on there. Speaking of which ones I want to put on there, I think I'm going to put this Rachel Green sticker on because I've had this for a couple years and I have no idea what I want to do with it. So yeah, Rachel Green, she's so cute. I love Rachel Green. She's my favorite friend character. Okay, this one, I, okay, so this is a bunch of like TV shows from the early 2000s. And what really sold me on this one in particular, if you guys can see it, hopefully, I don't know, you'll get the close up. Little Bear at the top um, really persuaded me to get this because I feel like Little Bear never see any stickers of him. So when I saw him at the top of this, I was like, I need to get him in the sticker. <laughs> okay, um, next is this one that is Believe, it's Bigfoot. I thought this was really cool and I think it's really nature like and I like to travel so I thought that was really cool and appropriate. Do you guys call them Bigfoot or Sasquatch? I I do mix because my one side of the family does say Sasquatch so I'll say it with them but usually I prefer to him as Bigfoot. Okay next this one's kind of big this is from my school you had me at clone cone so at Iowa State you can get a clone cone at the Coliseum um, where they play basketball at, and it's really good. It's literally just vanilla ice cream, but they make it our school colors and in the cone, and it's upside down, and it's really good. So yeah, I like that one a lot. Um, this one I am gonna put on that tumbler I have that I put stickers on is polar bears against plastic waste. One, I love polar bears, and we don't like plastic waste. So yeah, I think this one is really cute. And yeah, sorry if I'm shaking with these, but I think this is so cute. All right, next ones are all like kind of related so i have two toy story ones and i'm debating what i want to do with these because i have two toy story ones and so they kind of mix together but they're not from the same movie so i have lots of the bear and he looks really mad and i don't know what to do with him but he's so cute he's i know he's a villain but he's 
that's such a cute sticker. And then of course I have Bunny and Ducky and I love them so much, but I don't know what to do with them because I don't want to stick them anywhere that I don't want to, oh, I just love them. They're so cute. Okay. And then the next last three are all SpongeBob related. So of course we got SpongeBob and he ripped his pants. So that's funny. And then we have Mr. Krabs in the money bags, you know, coolness. And then we have Swidward playing his clarinet. And I want to get Sandy and Patrick and Gary and Plankton. And I don't know. We'll see. I would like to get all of those stickers. So that is all the fun ones. So now we're going to go into ones I've traveled or where I've traveled at. So I'm excited to show you guys those ones. Definitely a lot more in here because I've been collecting these longer than I've been collecting. Because so at first was like just collecting places I've traveled. And then when you travel, sometimes you find these stores that have an abundance of stickers and you want to collect them all so yeah we're not going to go in any particular order of what i've traveled to but the first one we will start off with because it's an imaginary town it's pawnee indiana this is from parks and track i got it for christmas uh in 2020 and i still haven't committed to putting it anywhere so yeah it's so cool though i do also have a lot of these because i do know where i want to put them i haven't put them there but a lot of them will find a home soon it's the other ones that i have no idea where to put them um next i have a few of these ones but i have colorado basic Colorado with the mountain. Oh, this is one of my favorites. This is Mackinac Island, Michigan. If you have not been, you should go. It is really fun and cool there. And it's like one of my favorite, it was one of my favorite vacation spots that I've ever been to. So yeah, um, this one's huge. This is the Great Smoky Mountains from Tennessee. I think this one is super cool. And yeah, I really like it. This one is Traverse City, Michigan. Um, I'm kind of regretting this sticker only because I feel like Traverse City is known for cherries and I didn't get a cherry related sticker, but you know what? I've been there. Uh, this is another Colorado one from Pikes Peak. This is a mountain in Colorado that me and my friend drove up. So that was really cool. And yeah, I thought this was a cool sticker. This is one of my first stickers I ever got. And that is Explore Texas when I went to Texas. I thought this was really a unique sticker and yeah, I just thought it was really cool. And a lot of these stickers come from small businesses, which I like to support when I travel. I never really, it's bad. I never support, okay, I shouldn't say I never support, but I rarely support the ones that are in my area because there's, I don't know what's out there, but when you travel, it's like you find small businesses everywhere when you travel. And maybe I'm just not looking around where I live, but I mean, I know a couple, but like, you know what I mean? But I like to support them when I travel a lot. So yeah, that one's definitely from a small business. This is from Kansas. A small, it's not a small, I guess it's a small business. I don't know. It's a store there. I think this is a really pretty one. And going along with that, I have the Kansas. My mom actually has the same sticker as this, but it's Kansas with the sunflower because, you know, Kansas and their sunflowers. So yeah. Um, so we have a South Carolina one because I love the state of South Carolina. My cousin lives there. So I love that the sticker. Um, this is Sleeping Bear Dunes, Michigan. I think this one is really cool and unique. I went to Omaha last summer and I got this Omaha Henry Dooley Zoo and Aquarium with some elephants. I think this one's really cute. I like the elephants. I think they're really cute. And it's funny, I have a picture from that zoo of elephants in my room. So I'm like, oh, perfect. And then, okay, so I got this sticker in Omaha as well. And I, I thought it was super cute when I saw it. I was like, oh my God, this is so cute. And then I realized that I don't relate to this sticker. It says Nebraska, corn and raised. I'm not born in Nebraska and I didn't understand that it meant born and raised. It says corn and raised. I just thought it was cool, but now I don't really, I don't really relate to that. So maybe people will see this and think I'm from there, but I'm not. I just thought it was a cool sticker at the time. And then I realized, oh wait, you have to be like born there, but like, I'm not, but it's a cute sticker, whatever. Um, this is from St. Louis, Missouri, because I don't know. I really didn't need this, but I mean, I went there and I didn't really get any much souvenirs from there. So I got this sticker. Um, this is, oh, this is a really cute one. This is Kansas City Love or KC Love, but that stands for Kansas City. I think this one's really cute. This is another one from Kansas. It is a company there. Well, I guess it's like, it's a coffee place there in this town in Kansas, Gravel City Roasters. I think this is really cool. I'm not a big coffee person, but they had really good macaroons there. This one, is, this one's really good because it's my home. It's the state of Illinois and it has a bunch of things throughout the state. So I thought this was really cool. Um, so yeah, I like this one a lot. 
It's one of my faves. I think me and my family all have the same sticker, maybe. I don't know, but I really like this one because yeah, home. This one is not one of my favorites and I do regret getting this one, but it's just the state of Michigan. And I don't know, it's kind of boring, but I have it. So now I have to use it. I had a, had a deal on this Michigan ones. I had like a buy three, got one free, whatever. But yeah, this one isn't my one of my favorites, but it's the state of Michigan, so. Um, this is Lacrosse, Wisconsin. I don't know if I love this one either. I didn't really need this when I went there, but I got it to get it. But it's from Lacrosse, Wisconsin. This is one of my favorites. This is the Midwest one. I think this is super cute. And I feel like this one you can find on either like Redbubble, but I found this in a store like somewhere in the Midwest, obviously. But yeah, I think this is cute though. Midwest because I'm a Midwest girl. Apparently, I mean, like, I am a Midwest girl, but I don't relate to my Iowa Midwest friends. They're very different than how I raised because I'm from a suburb of a big city. Okay, um, next is Door County, Wisconsin. I love this place. Do I love the sticker? No, I think I could have gotten a different sticker that maybe related more to Door County, but I thought this one was cute. I love Door County. That's another one of my number one favorite. Well, I guess it's not my number one, but if I had to say another good vacation spot out of all these, Door County would be the next one. So yeah, visit Door County, Wisconsin. And then last but not least, of course, we have Chicago. And I thought this was cute. And I just realized where I'm going to put this because um, speaking of stickers, I have this little sticker thing here where I have this home Chicago Portillo's. I really like this Portillo's dog. So I think I'm going to put this guy on here somewhere because I just realized I want to put him here hopefully he fits somewhere because this pup is from the museum of science industry in chicago and it's kind of boring it's like i don't know i like to get my tumblers now really cool this is from las vegas but it's like pink but yeah so i don't know but now i know where this is gonna go but yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and comment down below your favorite sticker that i have and if you do a sticker haul let me know so i can go watch it and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed i know i mostly do math and artist content but i thought this was a cool interesting idea and so yeah i'll talk to you guys in my next video i don't know if i should hype the instagram up but i might as well so check it out um sas is coming up if you're a bath and water subscriber i know we're all excited so yeah i know this video might not get as many views because this isn't bath and Marks, but hey it's different so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you in my next video bye